Hey guys, I Spy here, and if you're new here, hello, welcome, and if you've been around for 84 years, welcome back. Today is a little special for two reasons. One, we got a brand new Spider-Man Far From Home trailer. I think the very first trailer for the movie. So that's exciting. And the second thing that's exciting is that this is the first Marvel-related video that I'm doing on the channel, ever. So, yay. I've been wanting to switch up my content for a while now, just to branch out a little from gaming. So, if you like Marvel, then hold on to your butts. So we're going to be having a look at the trailer, and then afterwards we're going to just be discussing the what we saw in general, and just my feelings on it. Now, if you want to skip the reaction, I have timestamps in the pinned comment. So if you want to avoid the reaction things, because I know not everybody likes them, you got a timestamp. But, without further ado, Let's jump right into it. Okay, pressing play now. I have not seen anything of this apart from some little sneak peeks at Mysterio. So let's jump right into it. Ah, bless Tom Holland. I love Tom Holland. He's great. Thank you, Spider-Man. That was so good. Hey, I'm late. <laughs> Happy. You look nice. Thank you. You too. Thank you. New dress? Yes. Mm? yes. How'd you know? Mm? <laughs> Bitch me too, Peter. What just happened? Bitch me too. Planning a trip? Mm hmm Going to Europe. It's a school trip. As you do. Did you get your passport? Peter Parker here to pick up a passport, please. That was a lot of peas in that sentence. <laughs> I just want to go on my trip with my friends. Europe doesn't really need a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. But he's probably going to take the suit anyway. Right? You look really pretty. And therefore, I have value. Oh, no. That's not <laughs> I'm right. messing with you. <laughs> you look pretty, too. <laughs> I just want to spend some time with MJ. I think she really likes me, dude. That reminds me when I first fell in love. I had just finished my first I love Ned. I think... Oh, oh, shit! What the hell did... What happened to Ned? What? Why is Ned down? So nice to finally meet you, Spider-Man. Oh! What the fuck? You're Nick Fury. Put some clothes on. Let's go for a ride. Huh? Okay, like that. Might want to turn him over so he doesn't swallow his tongue. <laughs> okay. I think Nick Fury just hijacked our summer vacation. Well. Awesome. Ooh. Okay, that's a cool suit. What the fuck is that? You got gifts, huh? What? You know, we have a job to do. I am Confucian. Are you going to step up or not? You're all alone. Friends are in trouble. Ooh. What are you gonna do about it? What? Yeah. What? What do you even do? Oh. You don't want any part of this. Okay. Okay, Mysterio is pretty cool. Mysterio is pretty cool. Spider-Man Far From Home. Okay, so just... I'm gonna jump into the main uh, focus, I guess, of this trailer, and that's probably the reveal of Mysterio. And he looks dope. Now, I'm gonna be really, like, just transparent here. I'm not too familiar with much from the Spider-Man comics. If anything, I'm kind of a new Marvel fan, I guess you could say. I'm still uh, learning things as I go, so forgive me if I don't know everything. But yeah, just straight off the bat, Mysterio looks really awesome. Um, I thought he would kind of be a bit more on the dorky side, just considering, like, how his comic book character looks. It's kind of goofy, in a way. But that's, that's just my personal opinion of it, but... Nah, he looks badass. He looks pretty dope, and... I like... whatever he has on his head. It's pretty neat. Not every man can rock a fishbowl, okay? So, props to Mysterio. That and, isn't it Jake Gyllenhaal that's playing Mysterio? I think it's Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah. I thought I was past crushes on villains, but... Here I am. I'm a simple woman. But into the rest of the trailer now, so as we know, Far From Home will be coming out after Endgame. 
And for me, I am very happy to see my boy Tom Holland back as Spider-Man because I am still emotionally scarred from Infinity War. Just, he delivered. He delivered in that one scene. You know the fucking scene I'm talking about. Oh my god, this... That killed me. So we can see here, you know, like just for the start of the trailer here, you know, it's pretty normal. Peter's getting ready to go on a, you know, school trip. Everything's fine and dandy. He's debating whether or not he's going to bring his suit or not. And he decides against it, which I guess him deciding against bringing his suit is how uh, he ends up getting the newest suit with the winged parts of it. I'm not too sure what to describe this as. And the uh, stealth spider suit as well. I am I guess Nick Fury hooks him up with those because I don't see how else he'll get them because who knows what's happened to Tony Stark in this. We don't know. Fuck knows what happened to Tony Stark yet. This is before, this is after Endgame so. But yeah we see here poor Nitty Boy. He gets knocked out and then Good old Nick Fury, he's back, he's like, sup, gotta talk to you about some shit, boy. And then he's just like, oh crap, you're Nick Fury. All I have is a toothbrush in my hand. <laughs> you have a gun, I have a toothbrush. Kind of, you kind of uh, armed me, sir. Anyway, shit talking aside, uh, I guess whatever the, uh, this creature over here is, as well as the water thing, yeah, as well as this dude, I guess that's what Fury is going to get Peter to look into, or Spider-Man to look into, but then I guess Mysterio just sort of pops up and is like, okay, let me handle this kiddo, and then I assume maybe they'll clash, both Spider-Man and Mysterio are trying to sort out whatever the cause of these sort of elemental creatures are and that makes the two clash. Yeah, that's just a guess. You know but overall Mysterio he looks I love this suit I love it it's kind of it almost looks like this is wooden this like center piece here but you can see some hints of the original suit underneath this armoring because I feel like without the armor here it would look kind of ridiculous, so I can see why they kind of added on to it, but overall it looks really, really cool. I like it a lot. And it's cool to have another magic user in the Marvel Universe, because I know we have Doctor Strange, and I, I guess could, I guess Scarlet Witch's powers could be considered magic as well. Once again, a bit weak on my comic lore, so if you want to just feel free to correct me, go ahead, I'm welcome to learning. <laughs> but it is really cool to get some more magic users in the MCU, so I'm excited for that. Overall, the teaser trail looks really good, it sets the tone as, you know, what you would expect from a Marvel movie nowadays, you know, it's sort of got more of a chilled, fun vibe, which I think is needed, considering the last thing that we got was Endgame, which was just a glass case of emotions. Uh, I'm excited to, you know, dive into something a little bit more lighthearted because I think it's safe to say that after Endgame we're probably all going to be emotionally compromised. So it's good that we're getting something a little bit more on the lighthearted side and I don't and I can't think of anyone else better suited for that than Spider-Man. Anyway, that's my thoughts and opinions on the trailer, my general reaction, and just what I think of it overall. I really like Tom Holland as Spider-Man, and I'm excited to see what this movie is going to be like. And I, yeah, I can't wait. I'm I became a pretty big fan of Tom Holland as Spider-Man when I watched Homecoming, and I really liked him in Civil War. That little snippet that we got introducing us to him in this era in the MCU and yeah I just I, I love the dude Tom Holland is great he's a really good fit for Spider-Man and Peter Parker and I'm excited to learn more about Mysterio and see where the story goes.
Anyway, that is it from me. If you have any thoughts and opinions on this, let me know down in the comments below. Anything you spotted in the trailer that you want to point out. Just word vomit. Word vomit your excitement and or everything. Consider supporting me on Patreon as it feels to grow for my content's quality and the variety and production of said content that you guys get to see all here on the channel. And of course, a massive thank you to my current patrons, of course. They are Cosmoronic, Nicholas Montoya, Caroline Richardson, Coolidora, and Kay. And if you want to see your name shouted out at the end of the video like these guys, do hop over onto Patreon and have a look around at the cool rewards on offer. Anyway, it is Icewire signing off, and I'll see you in two minutes later next time on the channel. Have a lovely day slash night with you are in the world, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!